Hi dental fans, I'm Dr. Rich. Ever wonder how dentists get close-up photos of teeth and smiles? Well today I will show you what camera gear I use in my office to take pictures of teeth. So my go-to camera currently is a Canon Rebel XT DSLR that I bought back in 2005 from a place called Norman Camera. They're still in business. You can check out their website at www.normancamera.com. I'm not sponsored by them, I just had a great experience buying from them. So I bought the camera as part of a dental kit for taking close-up photos of teeth, smiles, as well as full face photos. As I mentioned, the camera I bought is the Canon Rebel XT Digital SLR. Outside of the USA, it's called the Canon 350D. It has an 8 megapixel crop sensor, it has a built-in pop-up flash, the flash pops up by itself when the camera is in automatic mode and the flash is needed. I'm currently recording this video on a Canon M50 which has a built-in flash as well but the pop-up is manually controlled. This camera uses a compact flash card to save the photos. It originally came with a 32 megabyte card. Over the years I've bought bigger cards. First a 256 meg card, then a 512 and I'm currently using a 4 gigabyte card. The camera body can fit EF and EFS lenses. The camera is old enough that it doesn't record video, it only takes photographs. The camera came with a handy reference sheet from Norman Camera, which lists the recommended settings for both macro and portrait photos. I found that very helpful. My previous experience with SLR cameras was a Konica Auto Reflex T film camera that I got as a gift way back in the early 80s. And my previous macro camera was a Polaroid Macro 5 SLR. The Polaroid was easy to use since it only had five settings controlled by one knob on it. Unfortunately, the quality of the photos it spit out wasn't very good. I ended up selling it to a Polaroid collector. So the main lens I use to take tooth photos is the Canon EF 100mm 2.8 macro lens. This lens lets me take close-ups of individual teeth, close-ups of several teeth, a whole arch of teeth, a whole smile, as well as full face portraits. Since the lens is a fixed length with no zoom, I have to move the camera closer to or further from the subject, depending on what type of picture I'm taking. The second piece of kit that I use to take macro photos is a good flash. I bought the Canon Macro MR14 EX ring flash. It runs off of four AA batteries, the control box mounts on the camera on the hot shoe of the camera body and the flash itself mounts onto the end of the macro lens. The ring flash is needed to minimize shadows because the mouth is a pretty dark place. Here, here are some photos I've taken with this setup. I also bought the kit lens for the Rebel XT. It's a Canon EFS 18 to 55. I bought this lens because I wanted to use this camera at home and on vacations as well. Here are some photos I've taken with it over the years. The kit came in this hard-sided Pelican 1450 case. It's a waterproof case with foam padding inside. My case came with Velcro secured padding that can be arranged to fit your equipment. Mine was set up to fit my camera with the macro lens mounted as well as separate spots for the kit lens, the ring flash, and room for the charger compact flash card reader, and extra compact flash cards. Overall, I've been very happy with it. The only downside may be the weight of the entire camera macro lens ring flash setup. The weight is sometimes an issue if my assistant uses the camera for photos, or if I'm trying to take a photo one-handed. I bought the Rebel XT rather than a full frame camera because it was smaller and lighter. When I need to replace the Rebel XT, I'll try to find a camera with a smaller body. Here's a photo of my Rebel XT macro setup next to my M50 with the kit lens. Here's another photo with the Rebel XT with its kit lens next to the M50. Other items I use regularly when I take photos are some retractors. My main retractor is a set of wire retractors. I slip them in the patient's mouth and ask them to hold the ends. There's a large end and a small end. 
Since they're metal, they're sterilizable after each use. I occasionally use a disposable retractor called the OptraGate. This item comes in two sizes, small and large. I found that it either works really well or it doesn't work at all. I actually can't even remember the last time I used one. This black piece of plastic came with an implant kit I bought. The idea behind it is when you are taking a close-up photo of a tooth for color purposes, you place this behind the tooth so it blocks out the tongue and the tooth will pop out more. So that's how I take close-up tooth photos. What do you use to take macro photos? Anyone have any recommendations as to what camera I should get to replace my Rebel XT when it needs to be replaced? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. I try to post new videos every week.